guys node investor here want to drop a video on the market today bitcoin moves into all-time highs and the altcoins most of them react negatively so we'll take a look at those we'll look at some of the main ones i've been watching here we're going to talk bitcoin we'll talk ethereum litecoin neo took a big hit today omise go 10x and maybe a few others so quick look at the coin market cap here 165 billion dollars so we're still moving up markets moving up and it's just this seesaw back and forth right bitcoin pauses altcoin start to run and it's been very selective i mean we look at neo has been on hold for a long time omise go has been consolidating for a couple of weeks up until recently litecoin was consolidating for a long time and you know the privacy coins were running monero dash zcash were popping good and just seems to be rotating a lot right now we saw ripple last week and this week is just really taking a hit uh, so a lot of rotation happening overall the market in the cryptocurrency space is moving north heading higher but uh, you got to be a little selective right now no doubt so let's take a look at the charts bitcoin moves into all-time highs here in my last video which seems like a long time ago which you know we were back in here you know, I was talking about this base that was putting in. I said I expected to see a little bit of a handle pullback, and that's pretty much what we got in here just in the last day. A little bit pop to the upside, pretty decent volume on that move higher. So I expect it to go higher. I think we're going to see 5,000 Bitcoin here in the coming weeks, if not sooner. So uh, looking good, looking strong. That consolidation pause was very healthy, very constructive. And so, so far, Bitcoin is looking like it wants to go higher. Um, I brought it up in the last one. You know what's going to happen to the altcoins? I think in that initial pop, we saw the altcoins react negatively. Everybody jumps back into Bitcoin, wants to ride the wave up. Um, but I think some of these altcoins are going to keep up or outperform. And so all in all, Bitcoin's looking good. If uh, you're holding Bitcoin, I think it's a good place to be right now. Um, it's going to look like it wants to march higher here. Let's look at Ethereum. So Ethereum is another one I've been watching. I told you guys Ethereum, I expect it to outperform uh, Bitcoin a little bit. It has been um, just kind of keeping up, really. So let's look at the first chart here. The first chart is uh, Bitcoin versus Ethereum here. And you can see, you know, we're kind of in this uptrending. So it has been outperforming Bitcoin uh, slowly right it's not rocketing higher but it's very constructive very nice very steady you know we had the big pop and then it kind of pulled back but still holding this trend so looking very good if you look at ethereum versus the dollar um, my first target of resistance was 370 we're pretty much right there we're 375 um, i don't know if it's going to just push through and hit the old all-time highs i think we're going to see a pause first um, i'm not saying sell ethereum i'm holding some ethereum and I think what we'll just see is a little bit of a pause, a little bit of a of a breather, and then maybe a push higher. If we zoom out a little bit, let's look at the daily charts. Uh, if we zoom out a little bit, you can see here we're we're kind of forming this nice big base. Um, so it would be ideal to see a little bit of a pause here, maybe even a little bit of a handle pull back down to the 350 area, and then a push higher. Um, or we could just go to this high here where it closed. The old closing high uh, was around 386, so we can see that happen, and then pause or pull back from that point on uh, but i still think we're going to see these old all-time highs uh exceeded here so ethereum's looking good um you know I've, i was talking about it starting to outperform back in this 280 290 range um, so far has been a pretty good trade in the last two weeks uh, moving high just pretty much keeping pace with bitcoin if not outperforming it slightly so looking good on ethereum i'm still liking it here litecoin let's talk litecoin so after that nice big long base we saw the signal last week i said that was a good breakout normal pause normal pullback action right back to the 10 ema and then boom there we go so we're marching higher 62 dollar litecoin guys you should be excited this is very good very nice action um you know some backfilling would be normal some just kind of pulling in a little bit pause up and down stair up in its way up and so I'm liking the action in Litecoin. I'm still holding some Litecoin. I think we're going to see higher prices. Uh, will it outperform Bitcoin? You know, it, it's hard to say. I mean, there's a lot going forward. You can see here, there's a little bit of a trend. You know, it, it was outperforming it, generally speaking, up, down, up, down. But it's still moving that direction. So it looks like it could continue. Um, so that would be good. Are we going to see these old 
all-time highs versus Bitcoin tested. Somebody was asking me, um, you know, that's a long ways up from here. If we look at that, that's that's 56% higher. Um, so that would put alt, you know, Litecoin at uh, close to 90 bucks at that point. So um, could that happen? I think so. Is it going to happen in this run? Who knows? That's a long ways up. I, I personally don't think so. I think we're going to see some up and then some pullback. Um, target wise, you know, it's kind of hard to say now we're, we're in, we're in all time highs, uh, on the dollar side of Litecoin. So who knows? I'm, I'm still betting 75 bucks. Uh, we'll see where the next stop is. Let's take a look at Neo. Neo, what a hit it took today. So Neo had a double whammy. One, the altcoin sold off with Bitcoin breaking out. And two, there was some news about China starting to regulate ICOs. And, you know, we're just seeing that everywhere. We're seeing news about governments all over the place, not just in the U.S., you know, starting to notice the crypto space and and cracking down and wanting to regulate and wanting to control. And, you know, that's just inevitable, guys. Uh, when a market grows this fast, this quickly, this strongly, and you get a lot of attention and there's a lot of money to be made here. There's a lot of reasons why they would want to regulate. There's a lot of reasons uh, exchanges want to be centralized and um, you know and I understand it I don't agree with it all but I, I think we're expecting to see more of that um, so as far as neo goes honestly I think it was just fud um, I think a lot of it was a quick reaction to the news is it gonna kill neo long term is it the end for neo um, I doubt it I really do guys I think this is a temporary setback I think uh, neo has a bright future it's going to be doing some good things. The project's not stopping. You know, there might be a pause or a hurdle to overcome regarding ICOs and, and maybe some projects that we're planning to, to go on the NEO blockchain might uh, think about it or maybe look at another platform. But whether it's NEO or whether it's Ethereum or anything else, I mean, if China's going to regulate ICOs, it doesn't matter what platform it's on. You know, just NEO had that uh, China focus. So looking at the charts. We had a big break. No doubt that is a very bearish break, very bearish signal. And technically speaking, yeah, some damage was done. I mean, we were consistently holding the support here and things were getting tight and a move was imminent, you know, and of course I was hoping a move to the upside was what we were going to be seeing here soon. The moving averages were catching up, um, but we broke and we broke bad and the volume was huge. I think a lot of it was once the stops got taken out. Uh, the panic selling ensued. I mean, look at the hourly chart here. I mean, most most of that move happened in, in two hours. And this one hour here was, in one hour, we saw from peak to bottom, 20 plus percent move on that. So big washout. So as far as the upside goes, here's what I'd be looking for. A break of the descending 10 EMA on all the charts. I mean, right now, we haven't been able to overtake that on the four hour it's still way up here and what tends to happen is if something's going to start to break down that becomes an area of resistance so we'll see the price bounce right into that and sell off bounce into that and sell off so until i see that pattern broken just remain cautious on neo on the downside if you're still holding it watch out for these lows today and specifically if we can close below that 0.07 which has been a real solid level of support that's really the area I've, uh, I'd be considering moving out or lightening up on it here. So this 0.07 is kind of, you know, on a closing basis, really the area that I'm looking to, uh, to exit a little bit on that position. So, you know, we're kind of in this middle ground. I think uh, if that was it, if that was just a reaction to the news and we see buyers start stepping in, this could be a good uh, opportunity to pick some up here at these low levels. But no doubt it's high risk. It's a little bit bearish pattern. So um, if you do pick some up, definitely keep tight stop on this because, you know, we don't know where the ultimate bottom is going to be. Now, if I look at the daily charts, now that it's kind of broken down a little bit, this first moving average, if it doesn't close above that today, um, this 50 EMA is going to really be the ultimate low, which kind of correlates to this, this support uh, consolidation over here. And so that would be the ultimate stop for me. And that's going to be just below 0 0.06 or right at 0 0.06 and so that's what i'd be looking for so around the 600 satoshi level 600,000 satoshi level is the the stop that i'd really be putting us for longer term holds um, below that you know you don't really want to see that level get taken out i think we're a little overdone to the downside hopefully we don't see that level taken out so that kind of correlates back here with some of this so that's a 
kind of the the must hold level for Neo. Oh me say go. So this is probably my number one holding right now. Uh, probably my biggest position all around. Um, holding multiple ones right now. I mentioned on my top four like the other day. I was Ethereum, Litecoin, Neo, and Omise Go. And obviously Neo has taken a hit. The other ones are doing very well. Um, and a lot of it just depends on where you got in. I mean, I've I've been riding Omise Go since the lows. Um, Neo, the same thing. So, you know. So you can give them a little bit of room. I'm thinking Omise Go is due for a breakout here. And I've been waiting for it. And this is just an incredible pattern. You see this tight. I mean, very rarely do you see these patterns. And, you know, to be honest with you, they can go either way. When they get this tight, you know, it doesn't take a lot of movement. If you see a crack to the downside, you know, everybody panics and sells. Or you'll get the little shakeout and then the pop. Um, but it's just incredibly tight. It looks like it's edging up here. It's definitely looking strong. If we go to the four-hour chart starting to see the moving averages start to turn up here we're seeing a little bit of pausing right now if we go versus bitcoin um let me say go saw a little bit of pulling in here you know and it, there's a lot of sellers showing up at these you know this 0.021 level just seems to be a big wall sell wall right now uh once that gets exhausted i think we're going to start to see prices really accelerate so this is my number one watch right now i'm really liking this pattern very strong very bullish pattern and if we break out um, you're going to see a big move up. So keep an eye on Omise Go. Let's look at 10X. So yesterday, 10X started a move. This was pre-Bitcoin breakout. After that breakout, it pulled in a little bit. You saw some selling showed up. Um, but on the daily pattern, it's still looking good. It's above the 10 EMA now. It's above you know, this 30 EMA held very nicely. You know, So I'm liking this. After this big stair step up, it had this nice consolidation starting to round out here and move into the up on the right side with volume coming in um, there was some selling showing up here but look at the you know in big green bars you know this is a, a big selling wick but then on the downside that that bar looks ugly it's it's very sharp very quick but relatively speaking you know the volume was kind of contained and we're seeing some support show up here and so I'm holding my 10x for now um, I think on the dollar basis if it holds above four dollars and on this BTC level right around uh, you know this 0 0.8 uh, 0 0.86 or so is really the the level I'm going to be watching. If it starts to close below that, then I'm going to step aside and just kind of let it figure out what it wants to do here. But so far, looks like it wants to recover. I'm going to hold on to this one for now. I really like the project. Um, I think technically it's very good. The charts, you know, it's just kind of a normal consolidation after the run up, normal pullback. It looks like it wants to start moving again. So. I'm keeping this for now. The level to watch on the upside, we can close above this recent uh, resistance level, which shows up is uh, right around uh, 110,000 Satoshi, so 0.011. If we start to close above that, so that's going to be a really good sign. And let's take a look at one more Civic. And so Civic's still consolidating here. I'm watching this one because I'm thinking this one might start to turn around here and uh, once these moving averages start catching up the consolidation has been pretty healthy if you look at the volume patterns you know not a ton of big sellers showing up but you know all these candles have wicks and again it's just that resistance keeps showing up every time it tries to rally it a little bit so um, not ready yet but i think it should be on your watch list and you know on the downside we don't want to see these recent lows get taken out and that kind of correlates with this moving average now so that's the area I'd be watching. It's kind of forming this tight little channel right now. If we start to move up above that, especially if volume comes in, I'd be looking for that. Confirmation would be if we can get this RSI to start poking above 60, that'll be good too. So watching Civic, uh, I am holding some Civic. It's not a real big position, uh, but I'm holding some for now. And I think you guys should just be keeping an eye on it. If you're not in it now, there's probably not a whole lot to do. If you want to start accumulating some here, just keep a tight stop on it. Uh, but that's going to be it for today, guys interesting markets interesting times um i'm enjoying the ride but you know sometimes it pays to just step away from the screen and not watch the charts because it, it gets volatile i mean this is cryptocurrency right and sometimes we forget especially when things are nice and climbing steady and eddy and you get these crazy shakeout days and kind of just reminds you this is a volatile space um when times like this show up I think it's good to just take a step back and look at the longer term charts, look at the daily charts, what's the broader pattern saying and you know, and kind of set your stops that way, look at your positions, uh, your holdings that way. Um, and if you need to sell, you need to sell, take some profits, protect some gains, that's okay too, right? 
and move into BTC temporarily and figure out what to do from there. So that's going to be it for tonight, guys. Until next time, take care. But I'd really be putting us for longer term holds. Um, below that, you know, you don't really want to see that level get taken out. I think we're a little overdone to the downside. Hopefully we don't see that level taken out. So that kind of correlates back here with some of this. So that's a kind of the, the must hold level for NEO. Omise Go. So this is probably my number one holding right now. Um, probably my biggest position all around. Um, holding multiple ones right now. I mentioned on my top four like the other day I was Ethereum, Litecoin, NEO, and Omise Go. And obviously NEO has taken a hit. The other ones are doing very well. Um, and a lot of it just depends on where you got in. I mean, I've I've been writing Omise Go since the lows. Um, Neo, the same thing. So, you know, so you can give them a little bit of room. I'm thinking Omise Go is due for a breakout here. And I've been waiting for it. And this is just an incredible pattern. You see this tight. I mean, very rarely do you see these patterns. And, you know, to be honest with you, they can go either way. When they get this tight, you know, it doesn't take a lot of movement. If you see a crack to the downside, you know, everybody panics and sells. Or you'll get the little shakeout and then the pop. Um, but it's just incredibly tight. It looks like it's edging up here. It's definitely looking strong. If we go to the four hour chart, starting to see the moving averages start to turn up here. We're seeing a little bit of pausing right now. If we go versus Bitcoin, um, Omise Go saw a little bit of pulling in here. You know, and it, there's a lot of sellers showing up at these, you know, this 0.021 level just seems to be a big wall, sell wall right now. Uh, once that gets exhausted, I think we're gonna start to see prices really accelerate. So this is my number one watch right now. I'm really liking this pattern. Very strong, very bullish pattern. And if we break out, um, you're gonna see a big move up. So keep an eye on Omise Go. Let's look at 10X. So yesterday 10X started a move. This was pre-Bitcoin breakout. After that breakout, it pulled in a little bit. You saw some selling showed up, um, but on the daily pattern, it's still looking good. It's above the 10 EMA now. It's above you know, this 30 EMA held very nicely. You know, so I'm liking this after this big stair step up, it had this nice consolidation starting to round out here and move into the up on the right side with volume coming in. Um, there was some selling showing up here, but look at the, you know, in big green bars, you know, this is a, a big selling wick, but then on the downside, that, that bar looks ugly. It's, it's very sharp, very quick, but relatively speaking, you know, the volume was kind of contained and we're seeing some support show up here. And so I'm holding my 10X for now. Um, I think on the dollar basis, if it holds above $4 and on this BTC level right around, uh, you know, this 0 0.8, uh, 0 0.86 or so is really the, the level I'm going to be watching. If it starts to close below that, then I'm going to step aside and just kind of let it figure out what it wants to do here. But so far, looks like it wants to recover. I'm going to hold on to this one for now. I really like the project. Um, I think technically it's very good. China's going to regulate ICOs. It doesn't matter what platform it's on. You know, just Neo had that uh, China focus. So looking at the charts, we had a big break. No doubt that is a very bearish break, a very bearish signal. And technically speaking, yeah, some damage was done. I mean, we were consistently holding the support here and things were getting tight and a move was imminent, you know, and of course I was hoping a move to the upside was what we were going to be seeing here soon. And the moving averages were catching up, um, but we broke and we broke bad. And the volume was huge. I think a lot of it was once the stops got taken out, uh, the panic selling ensued. I mean, look at the hourly chart here. I mean, most most of that move happened in, in two hours. And this one hour here was in one hour we saw from peak to bottom 20 plus percent move on that. So big washout. So as far as the upside goes, here's what I'd be looking for. A break of the descending 10 EMA on all the charts. I mean, right now we haven't been able to overtake that. On the four hour, it's still way up here. And what tends to happen is if something's gonna start to break down, that becomes an area of resistance. So we'll see the price bounce right into that and sell off, bounce into that and sell off. So until I see that pattern broken, just remain cautious on NEO. On the downside, if you're still holding it, watch out for these lows today. And specifically, if we can close below that 0.07, which has been a real solid level of support, that's really the area I've, uh, I'd be considering moving out or lightening up on it here. So this 0.07 is kind of, you know, on a closing basis, really the area that I'm looking to uh, to exit a little bit on that position. So, you know, we're kind of in this middle ground. I think uh, 
if that was it, if that was just a reaction to the news and we see buyers start stepping in, this could be a good uh, opportunity to pick some up here at these low levels. But no doubt, it's high risk. It's a little bit bearish pattern. So um, if you do pick some up, definitely keep tight stop on this because you know we don't know where the ultimate bottom is going to be. Now, if I look at the daily charts, now that it's kind of broken down a little bit, this first moving average, if it doesn't close above that today, um, this 50 EMA is going to really be the ultimate low, which kind of correlates to this, this support uh, consolidation over here. And so that would be the ultimate stop for me. And that's going to be just below 0 0.06 or right at 0 0.06 and so that's what I'd be looking for so around the 600 Satoshi level 600,000 Satoshi level is the the stop that I'd really be putting us for longer term holds um, below that you know you don't really want to see that level get taken out I think we're a little overdone to the downside hopefully we don't see that level taken out so that kind of correlates back here with some of this so that's a kind of the the must hold level for NEO Omise oh, go so this is probably my number one holding right now. Uh, probably my biggest position all around, um, holding multi-time highs uh, exceeded here. So Ethereum's looking good. Um, you know, I've, I was talking about it, starting to outperform back in this 280, 290 range. Um, so far has been a pretty good trade in the last two weeks, uh, moving high, just pretty much keeping pace with Bitcoin, if not outperforming it slightly. So looking good on Ethereum, I'm still liking it here. Litecoin, let's talk Litecoin. So after that nice big long base, we saw the signal last week. I said that was a good breakout. Normal pause, normal pullback action, right back to the 10 EMA and then boom, there we go. So we're marching higher, $62 Litecoin, guys. You should be excited. This is very good, very nice action. Um, you know, some backfilling would be normal. Some just kind of pulling in a little bit, pause up and down, stair stepping its way up. And so I'm liking the action in Litecoin. I'm still holding some Litecoin. I think we're going to see higher prices. Uh, will it outperform Bitcoin? You know, it, it's hard to say. I mean, there's a lot going forward. You can see here, there's a little bit of a trend. You know, it, it was outperforming it, generally speaking, up, down, up, down. But it's still moving that direction. So it looks like it could continue. Um, so that would be good. Are we going to see these old all-time highs versus Bitcoin tested somebody was asking me um you know that's a long ways up from here if we look at that that's that's 56 percent higher um so that would put alt you know litecoin at uh, close to 90 bucks at that point so um could that happen i think so is it going to happen in this run who knows that's a long ways up i i personally don't think so i think we're going to see some up and then some pullback um, target wise, you know, it's kind of hard to say now we're, we're in, we're in all time highs, uh, on the dollar side of Litecoin. So who knows? I'm, I'm still betting 75 bucks. Uh, we'll see where the next stop is. Let's take a look at Neo, Neo, what a hit it took today. So Neo had a double whammy one, the altcoin sold off with Bitcoin breaking out. And two, there was some news about China starting to regulate ICOs. And, you know, we're just seeing that everywhere. We're seeing news about governments all over the place, not just in the U.S., you know, starting to notice the crypto space and, and cracking down and wanting to regulate and wanting to control. And, you know, that's just inevitable, guys. Uh, when a market grows this fast, this quickly, this strongly, and you get a lot of attention and there's a lot of money to be made here, there's a lot of reasons why they would want to regulate. There's a lot of reasons uh, exchanges want to be centralized and um, you know and I understand it I don't agree with it all but I, I think we're expecting to see more of that um, so as far as NEO goes honestly I think it was just FUD um, I think a lot of it was a quick reaction to the news is it gonna kill NEO long term is it the end for NEO um, I doubt it I really do guys I think this is Ethereum here and you can see you know we, we're kind of in this uptrending so it has been outperforming bitcoin uh slowly right it's not rocketing higher but it's very constructive very nice very steady you know we had the big pop and then it kind of pulled back but still holding this trend so looking very good if you look at ethereum versus the dollar um, my first target of resistance was 370 we're pretty much right there we're 375 um, I don't know if it's going to just push through and hit the old all-time highs. I think we're going to see a pause first. Um, I'm not saying sell Ethereum. I'm holding some Ethereum. And I think what we'll just see is a little bit of a pause, a little bit of a, of a breather, and then maybe a push higher. If we zoom out a little bit, let's look at the daily charts. 
Uh, if we zoom out a little bit, you can see here we're we're kind of forming this nice big base. Um, so it would be ideal to see a little bit of a pause here, maybe even a little bit of a handle pull back down to the 350 area and then a push higher. Um, or we could just go to this high here where it closed. The old closing high uh, was around 386, so we can see that happen and then pause or pull back from that point on. Uh, but I still think we're going to see these old all-time highs uh, exceeded here. So Ethereum's looking good. Um, you know, I've, I was talking about it starting to outperform back in this 280, 290 range. Um, so far has been a pretty good trade in the last two weeks. Uh, moving high, just pretty much keeping pace with Bitcoin, if not outperforming it slightly. So looking good on Ethereum. I'm still liking it here. Litecoin, let's talk Litecoin. So after that nice big long base, we saw the signal last week. I said that was a good breakout. Normal pause, normal pullback action, right back to the 10 EMA, and then boom, there we go. So we're marching higher. $62 Litecoin, guys. You should be excited. This is very good, very nice action. Um, you know, some backfilling would be normal, some just kind of pulling in a little bit, pause up and down, stir up and its way up. And so I'm liking the action in Litecoin. I'm still holding some Litecoin. I think we're going to see higher prices. Uh, will it outperform Bitcoin? You know, it, it's hard to say. I mean, there's a lot going forward. You can see here there's a little bit of a trend. You know, it, it was outperforming it, generally speaking, up, down, up, down. But it's still moving that direction. So it looks like it could continue. Um, so that would be good. Are we going to see these old all-time highs versus Bitcoin tested somebody was asking me um you know that's a long ways up from here if we look at that that's that's 56 percent higher um so that would put alt you know litecoin at uh, close to 90 bucks at that point so um could that happen i think so is it going to happen in this run who knows that's a long ways up i i personally don't think so i think we're going to see some up and then some pullback um, target wise, you know, it's kind of hard to say now we're, we're in, we're in all time highs, uh, on the dollar side of Litecoin. So who knows?